Due to the ignorance of our host, parental discretion is advised. Rolling, 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 yep. rolling. You got the blue memo, right? We're the blue man group today, dude. Uh, by the way, that's probably the freshest podcast shirt. I like Will's too. Yeah, that one's dope. Yeah, there you go, Will. You ain't shit. <laughs> no, I like. <laughs> no, Will's. Just kidding. I do like. No, that dude, one's, yeah, that one's dope. It uh, reminds me of uh, Golden State Warriors. Do you know what I'm getting scared of? My titties, dude. Look at this. You have you breasts. See a you have breasts. What's that? I have breasts <laughs> who's too. The, who's that fighter that you keep saying? Look at those man's titties. It's, it's um, I think it's the guy that used to play football, right? No. Um, Isn't it Hardy? No. Greg Hardy's got a got a rack got on a him. Set of tits on him. Um, but it is. Um, oh my god! I can see his face. I can see his breasts just fucking haunting me right now. Um, B pull up. Um, it's not Roundtree. It's uh, a- Anderson. Corey Anderson. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> I reached deep into that one. He fights for Bellator now. Oh, yeah? Corey Anderson. Um, the biggest man titties, huh? He has uh, tits like my my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was surprised that. Go very, very far right. Last, yeah, that one right there. He has breasts. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if <laughs> it's not where I'm going. Dude, they're the perfect cup. They're perfect, like my wife. They're fucking <laughs> nice little nipples. Oh, dude. That's fucking, yeah, dude. I'm insecure. Of course, he's got, like, he's he's built. But why, so, is it because they're not square? They're like triangle kind of thing? They are kind of you know triangle, huh? Are like, like, pecs are square? They are triangled, aren't they? Yeah. How about you, Beast? Show us your titties. Just kidding. <laughs> Come on, titty. That's the negative. Yeah, well, they so can't I mean, see you. But anyway, I uh, yeah. So they brought me this yesterday, uh, dude. How about this? We so we rented the the uh, the uh, studio yesterday. Mm-hmm. It was so fucking hot. Was it? We ended up. They ended up. Well, we were all here. We ended up potting with the door open. Did you? It was have, that hot. Have you gone and adjusted the? Thing out there, we were told not to. I fuck with it all the time. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Every time he asked me, I'm like, no, we don't. No, touch we don't it. touch it. I'm like, I keep my mouth quiet. I'm like, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> right, where, where's it at? Dude? Just so I know not to fuck with it. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was so. I it's mean, it's hot it, as it, fuck in, in here. In, in the middle, in the middle of the podcast, Lonzo goes, "Yo, can we turn the AC?" I'm like, <laughs> and like it's on. <laughs> He's pointing at that thing. <laughs> See, there's there's a reason we uh, don't pay that much in rent here, bud. <laughs> I don't know how they do it at Dre's studio. If he's got his own setting or whatever, but Dre's probably like, "Hey, uh, I'm gonna need my, uh, I'm gonna need my AC at 69 today." 69. Yeah, I don't know why I came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I forgot to tell you. Did I? Did I? Uh, did I ever talk to you about? So remember our last pot beef that never became anything. Uh, those guys are still have a podcast. Yeah, they're still podcasting. Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. They actually call themselves uh, Pork and Beans on the last episode. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Or the one before. Uh, but uh, I never told you about his idea. Well, remember how we wanted to get together and, and, and soccer? Do a fucking shootout, right? Yeah. So that day that we all got together, I finally got close to him. And I said, so what's going on? What are we doing? He goes, I got a, he's like, I got the best idea. I was like, all right, I'm all ears. He says, how about this? You and I meet. Out of park, and then I'm ready to go, right? And you see me all dressed up, ready to play some soccer and shit. And then you come in. He goes, and you're wearing, like, anything that has to do with America. Like an American flag, an American shorts. Maybe if you have American, like, like the flagging-looking shoes. And I was like, what for? Well, the idea is that you come to me with, like, being so white and having like, your, your white privilege. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he goes, yeah, 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 dude. It's funny because you know, like you, you come up, it's like, why do you want the brown guy? Why do you want a basic? F- first of all, why do you want any of us to do that when we're all brown? <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. It's, it's gonna be cool. It's like everybody else th- thinks it's funny, and I look at Lonzo. Lonzo's like, he's all like. <laughs> Funny. That would be like me going there and I have like the full soccer get up yeah. for Team Nigeria. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That'll be you like doing dress by Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Teaching Dre. 
dude, I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, no, 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 dude, just hear me out, hear me out. I was like, I thought we were going to play soccer. I was going to mutilate you, and now you're coming to me with, I should be the white privilege guy? Well, I can say, see why this didn't happen. So. Yeah, so now I'm like, yeah, you let me know what you want to play, and then... All of a sudden. Bitch, I even got the Adidas on. I'm ready to right. rock. Well, fuck around. All day I dream about soccer. <laughs> Is it really uh, all day I dream about? Yeah. All what day is it? Dream, I dream about, what? about soccer. But it was the real one, though. All day I dream about soccer. No, There's the corn song, but I think they no. ripped it off. The... But that really means soccer? For I real? don't know. Look it up. I thought that's what it was, what but it? I only got that from. Back in the day when Corn released the, because you know he all they all Damn. dressed in Adidas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was their get up, right? But I don't, because if that's the case, I may have to fucking change. That's all I buy now is Adidas. Yeah. I love them, dude. I almost got all the colors now. Got the greens, nice. got the blacks, the grays, the whites. I found me some uh, some retro Jordan ones. They were. Pretty cheap, and I was like, mm. "What's pretty cheap?" I'm not even a leg, but it's not like, yeah. <laughs> like you guys <laughs> talking about last time. <laughs> What's it say, B? Um, it does not stand for all day. I uh, dream about soccer or sex. Um, it's actually uh, the person who founded it in Germany's nicknames. Oh, that's right. I think uh, yeah. Adi Adi Das. He's like, I don't want to read anymore. I'll just put it. Yeah, to he's like, he's stumbling with fucking the. He's like, oh, here you go. Dude, that's why I don't read. Uh, he's a an 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 annual. Yeah, it's a tough one, huh? Uh, Addy, a nickname for Adolf. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, well, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Das for uh, Dassler. That's right. I've yeah. heard this somewhere else. Adolf Dassler. Uh, nickname Addy. Addy, dude. That's your, that's your daughter, dude. It is. She's a part of Adidas. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Hey. Yeah. And now you know. Is that button still on there? Uh, JSYK. It's there. Uh, oh, wait. There you go. Mm hmm. <laughs> And we'll file that away in the G Wiz, but who really gives a fuck file? Yeah! <laughs> Jesus Christ! He's coming in hot, dude. S salty he's there. Got new, he's got new kicks, too. Uh, he bought two hats today. He got the Coronas over he's there. The See, he's rolling the money. Yeah. A little limey and salty back there, Umby. He's yeah, a little you know. salty. You know? <clears throat> When'd you get those kicks? Uh, just got them. I had to send back the 13s and get me a bigger size, so. God damn. Also has yeah. a big dick. Got some <laughs> packing damn. meat there, I'm bun. <laughs> Not talking feet. <laughs> well, no. It is what it is. Dude, you got, you gotta tell Justin that story later. You can't say it on the pod? You don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Ten four. You won't? Huh? You won't? I, I we'll have to talk about it off the podcast. I'm not sure what story we're talking about. The one from <laughs> I got you I got a lot of stories. Want me to tell. I, I got a lot of stories. All right, that means no. Don't fucking yo. Don't did fucking you uh, did you watch the Jake Paul and Woodley fight? Yeah, I went to uh, B's house. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. yeah, my son. Thanks uh, for the invite, guys. My son made me. Yo, he says thanks for the invite. When did you where where were you that day? Um, I was DJing with DJ Eflex at a park until. Halfway through the fight, or halfway through the, so we missed the first two cards. I, I got there to the last, the one before Jake, yeah. and then the the girl fight. Yeah, yeah. and That's again, nice. I was. Just, did you watch it? Yeah, yeah. Dude, we, is this fucking? It was a last minute thing. Is this fucking guy in, around the corner, and you're living north up north? Is this fucking guy invincible or what? I'm getting fed up, dude. Dude, he almost got knocked out. Here's my take. All right, that's what we're here for. Um. <clears throat> The guy, the Paul brothers are smart, right? Dude, mm -hmm. I didn't know he was from a Disney show. Yeah. I had no idea. I thought he was just, his brother were just YouTube personalities. I had no idea he was from a Disney show. Um, obviously have uh, social media in their back pocket. Yeah, right? yeah. They're um, media geniuses, right? They mm -hmm. know what they're doing. They're not stupid. Just like us, yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
So when they, you know, and, and the team he's built around him, they're all smart. He's got time to put into the sport. He's, he's, that's all he does now. He's yeah. dedicated to, um, to boxing. He's young, yeah. he's athletic. You know, he's... He's 24, isn't he? 25, I think. He's he's not dumb. Yeah. And when this whole thing came out, I was salty just because I thought, well, this isn't fair that also, a dude like this can just... Also, the better looking brother out of all Oh, them, yeah, absolutely. By far. Absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. Uh, I don't care much for the tattoos and the shit that he's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of... But like right there? Yeah. Fucking dime piece right there, bud. Do you see um, the girl he's dating too? Uh, I seen her at the fight yeah. with next to her mom, and her uh, dress looked like it was falling off. Oh, his girlfriend. Yeah, his girlfriend. I wasn't impressed, but anyway. <laughs> um, but uh, obviously, they're smart when it comes to picking these fights, right? Yeah. They can make the most bang for their buck. They can make a draw. Um, he's no joke when it comes to boxing. He's pretty good. For as long as he's done it. He does have a powerful ride. I saw that. When he fucking... Uh, he's, like de he, he's developing. He never he, he's connected de it. He's but. developing a really powerful ride, <laughs> no, right? I remember, yeah. Um, the Woodley thing kind of bothers me. Just because if you've watched the last four fights, his last four fights in the, in the UFC, he's long in the tooth and he's mm. on the downhill slope, right? And so it was smart for them to, A, pick a, uh, a, a good draw, a former champion. And um, knowing that Woodley was a world-class wrestler mm -hmm. to begin with, he's still a wrestler. Yeah, he became a striker through his career, but he was an MMA striker. He was not a boxing striker, mm -hmm. right? So it was smart on their, on their point. Um, Woodley was just too timid, just okay. like he was that's in the I, last four fights. That's he what just I Angel. he he. There's something that has clicked in his mind where he's been beat that he can't pull the trigger, um, and I can't say when it happened. I know up to the Colby Covington fight is when it really took a down slope, and when Colby got a hold of him, it really was like oh. I'm not even, I'm, I'm just, I'm here. You almost would think I'm here to collect a paycheck, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and he said his rap career and all that, he was he was uh, kind of uh, more into that than he was fighting or whatever. Um, he collected one hell of a paycheck. I mean, the word on the street is those guys probably get got $10 million each. Yeah, that, wow. that's what I told Angel. I said, uh, Jake Paul did not win that fight. Uh, Woodley lost that fight. Like, yeah, he if he would have yeah, been more active with his hands, he he could have won that. You know, on the and, card. And, and I scored it. I scored it. I did score it for Jake, but I almost went to a draw because in my mind that round where he really gave it to him and knocked him up against the ropes, you probably could have given that a ten eight round. Given that a ten eight. Yeah. yeah, and that would have pro that would have possibly put it into a draw. Um, but dude's legit. Dude's legit. I'm very interested to see who he picks next. I hope he doesn't pick um, uh, Tyson Fury's brother. I hope he doesn't pick him because he'll destroy that fucker. He'll destroy the brother. Oh yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll pick him. What was his name? He's on. He was on that. Uh, um, Tommy. Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury. He was on that card, but yeah. they only fought four rounds, and it was only. Um, I think the rounds were only two minutes apiece. Yeah. He beat the shit out of that dude that he was fighting. That dude he was fighting was an MMA fighter. So. It'll be interesting. I don't want to see a, a rematch. Yeah. Uh, I, if, if Woodley would have put it on a little bit more and possibly won the fight, then I would want to see the rematch. Now I don't want to see the rematch now. Um, it, it will be really interesting to see what happens now and who he fights next. Mm. So I'm, I'm going to give it to him. I'm, I'm, I'm really? going to eat every word that I said prior to it. He's he where he sits were, right now. He's legit. I was hard in the yeah, paint. You, you were you were wait. I mean, I said it were, on the radio. Yeah, you were waiting for for this fight. I was excited because I thought, well, there's no way. There's no way he's going to be able to beat a seasoned striker like Woodley. But when you look at the past and you look at Woodley's fights, the last few fights he's had, it made sense. It made sense. They were smart. They were smart to pick that beef with him in the locker room when Woodley was watching his hands be uh, wrapped for the Ben Askren fight. 
It was calculated as fuck. Oh, this is that shit is more WWE than. It, it, exactly, but exactly. I, but two, I, two million each one of them made for that So fight. that's that's guaranteed, right? Plus, they got a piece of that, the pay-per-view. Pay-per-views. What, what yeah, really... Yeah, that, that was the purse. Two, what, uh, what really two impressed me, what I have to tip my cap to, was I saw the fighter uh, pay out for the whole card, and then what Jake Paul gave each of the fighters out of his pocket. He gave them more than they made. Oh, really? Yeah, he spent millions to all the other fighters for the fucking fight. So he... he, he... So there was, like, a guy on there that made, like... Um, so uh, Tommy Tommy Fury made 15. Anthony Taylor made 40. This is thousands? Yeah. Thousands. Yeah, thousands. Here, let me pull, pull it over here for you. But does it show what Jake Paul gave him? No, no. This oh, is just, see, that's not... This is just the official... Yeah, that's not... The official. official. The, so the that's official, but that's not... See, like, Tommy Fury made 15 grand, and I want to say Jake Paul gave him an extra 50 grand. You know, that's what's really weird about the Paul brothers is... Are they really that big of, like... Well, my, my thing... I think, all, it's, a, I think, are, think it's a persona. It's all just a show, right? I think it's a persona. Well, my, my thing is, uh, how long... And correct me if I'm wrong, because obviously I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. How long are these guys going to get away with calling out people that are not... Either they're not boxers, or they're not what they used to be. I and mean, I'm just judging about what, what they've had so far. You know, or... Logan fought the best boxer in the world. And went the yeah, distance with him. Yeah, but was that really a fight? No. I mean, Mayweather's been known for hugging and holding and cuddling his. He's also the greatest boxer ever. And uh, would you? How would you? How would you? I would, how would I you would feel? Be. How That's would debatable. you feel? That's debatable. It, it is. It's it's absolutely deba- debatable. But you can't not say he's in the top three, top five of all time. Yeah, I can. I to just leave it alone, dude. Yeah, I can. You ever watch the uh, Oscar De La Hoya Mayweather fight? Yeah. He worked Oscar De La Hoya. And that was when Oscar De La Hoya was the man. The top. Do you guys know a guy by Canelo? Mm. He beat Canelo. Yeah. Legit. Canelo, to me, right now, is the pound for pound best as active fighter. Canelo's the best. How, how, how much are you into boxing? I don't. I used to be into it really. Like, that's what got me. So combat sports, then I went to boxing, then it's been MMA again. But like in the 90s, the Mike Tyson, the Holyfield era, that was my shit. Then it kind of phased out because boxing got shitty. Now, there now through, for like, his weight class, probably, yeah, you're probably 100% right. But overall, like pound for pound, like out of everybody. He's one of the best. He's one of the best. I mean, he's not in my top five, but. R- right, but what, what heavyweight do you know that has 50 wins and no losses? Right. None. None. Right. None. And the lightweight guys are always more skilled. Right. Bar none, right? Uh, heavyweights can just go so- rock'em, sock'em, robot, right? Um, what he does is an actual skill. You know, he beat Pacquiao, even though there was the whole arm deal. Um, he beat McGregor. McGregor wasn't a boxer, but McGregor was... That was when McGregor was at his top, right? Um, again, he beat Canelo, you know? He... Uh, we won't even get to th- into him, but... Your your question is how long is he going to go calling out these people that aren't boxers and still make it uh, that, a legit that are not business, boxers, right? Yeah. Every time he's fought, he's taken it to the next level, yeah. to the next level, right? So that's why I said earlier I'm interested to see what happens next because he either he's a he needs to fight a legit boxer or b he needs to fight a legit MMA striker. Didn't he call out uh, Diaz? Yeah, the but Diaz yeah, that's just not going to happen. And if it does, the UFC is going to want a piece of the pie. And I don't know if you know the uh, Jake Paul is signed with Showtime. Yeah, Showtime and the UFC fucking hate each other. Hate each other, but they love money, right? Yeah. Um, so you never know. I would like me personally. I I don't think the UFC would let him fight Nate Diaz, but I think they would let him fight Nick Diaz. Really? Yeah, Nick's kind of on the tier. He is fighting Robbie Lawler, and we'll see what happens. When is this? Um, this month, September twenty fifth. Oh, yeah. War Diaz. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> but like I said, that's why I'm, I'm really interested to see what happens next. But I, I'm going to tip my hat to him. He's legit. 
He is legit for for what he's done. Now he's not going to go beat a Canelo. Yeah, he's not going to beat. Uh, you know, they were talking about Julio uh, Cesar Chavez Jr. Yeah, he's not going to beat him. But the dude's only been doing it for three years. You don't think he? You don't think he beats? Okay, so you don't think he beats Julio Cesar, but Jr. Yeah, but he might beat the old man at this point. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I, I meant Junior, but you don't think he beats him when Anderson Silva beat him? I mean, how much of a boxer is Anderson Silva? That's who I want to see him fight next. Because Anderson's not under the UFC banner anymore. They're about the same size. I want to see With him Logan. fight Anderson Silva. I would, no, I would like to Jake, see him. Jake's huge. I would like to see him fight. Like, I'll bet when Jake. I'll bet when titles. Jake walked in there, he was two hundred five, two hundred eight. They weighed in at 190. Anderson Silva fought at 185 his whole career. So he probably is, you know, six foot. They're probably neck and neck. I would love to see the Anderson Silva. <laughs> that one, again, would be the next, oh, my God, he's going to fight Woodley. That one would take it to the next notch. Yeah. Now you're going to fight arguably the greatest striker in MMA. It's interesting, though. And I swore, I swore up and down I wasn't going to buy that. I fucking bought it. I, I just, fucking bought it. I, just, I keep trying to deny that they're that good, but I mean, I know they're showing up, you know. I get it. He's, he's better than his brother. His brother's okay. He's better than <clears throat> He's better than, way better than Logan. Really? Uh, you know, the, like Shab says, when this is all done, when he finally gets knocked out or beat, the brothers will fight each other. And it'll be like the biggest pay-per-view ever. Hell yeah. Yeah. Be That's my take. <laughs> yeah, right. To watch brothers be beat the shit cool. out of each other. And my son will make me buy that one. Too. Yeah. Cool. yeah, his son. He, he's, he's it was, son. It was my does, son that made me buy it how does, to begin with. How does he know? From the internet, from YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, you, I've never seen rooting for Jake Paul. I never the seen whole any YouTube. I haven't either. Has. I no, I take that back. I did watch the one when he went to the the, the, Asian, the suicide yeah, yeah. forest or whatever. I did yeah. watch that one. That's when I thought this motherfucker. I, I I just watched like the uh, like the the little clips that like Snapchat makes or whatever. Right. But I never I never watched any of them. And he has a podcast too, right? I guess so. Impulsive, which yeah. makes sense. M M I M Paul Siv. Oh, I didn't know that. No. I knew it was impulsive, but I've never listened to an episode. No, I don't. Listen, I already bought one of their fucking fights. <laughs> I ain't gonna fucking. I, I don't know, dude. It's just something something about him that's like. I don't know if it's because I know I know that they work hard and they're put on what they're put in the work. And again, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but it just seems to me that because where they are social media wise, it made it easier. Like I said, they have worked for it, but it's just for, I have that feeling they it's been easier for them. Of course it has been, but they've been smart about it. Instead of, I'll just do another video and another video, another video. They sat back and said, what's the next avenue that we can take that will make us millions? Why don't we fight? Oh, okay. Somebody will tune into that. All your followers will tune into that. And people that hate you will tune into it, watch And that's the biggest out. thing. Why do you watch a Mayweather fight? To watch him get knocked out, right? To watch him lose. And to watch him lose. That's like, like he's Fuck. he's the ultimate heel right now. Yeah. And that's why you watch it is you want to see him get beat. That's, that's and when why. he gets out on opponent like Woodley or if he fights Anderson Silva, you're like, I'm going to watch him get beat. And then he doesn't. And he, he proves you wrong every it, time. John Jones off. is my biggest example of why I always ordered a, a UFC card. I do not like John Jones. And I don't know why. <laughs> I, you I, say I, that. I, I don't you know why. I wish I could pinpoint it. Maybe it's the when somebody gets so dominant in in a division and they make every everybody else look poor. You don't want to watch it because it's not fun. It's not competitive anymore. And I think that's why I hated right. him so much. Is because he just smoked everybody. So that's why I watched the Paul fighting? fights. Um, well, this he's month too? no, because no, he's he's moved up to heavyweight, but he hasn't signed anything. He's he's doing it. A lot of MMA fans are like, oh, he's got to fight. He's, got, he's doing it right. That's carny wrestling right there, man. You you buy the you buy the pay-per-view to watch him. It's rope either, you, either you're a fan and you're watching, you, you're cheering him on, or you hate them so much you want to watch him get knocked yeah, it's, the hell out. It's, 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 you want to be it's there to watch rope him rope get and dope, beat but up. it's best, right? Yeah. So either way, you're going to spend like, $60 and you're going to fucking watch it. It's like Ric Flair. You, no. Back in the day, you'd pay all that money to watch him. Either because you loved him, as a sec, that's the second episode you bring Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's 
<clears throat> Yo, did you see that uh, picture of him eating out, eating that chick's ass out on the train? <laughs> Oof. Ric Flair. Uh uh-uh. uh. Doesn't surprise me. Jet flying. They don't know if it's. Right? They don't know if it's him, but uh, pull it up. <clears throat> I bet he it's was. just a snow. It's a photo. It doesn't show any nudity or anything like I, that. I bet he was slaying say, pussy. Say uh, Ric Flair train photo. <laughs> Hopefully your search engine doesn't already have that shit saved. We, we get something really fucking weird here. <laughs> well, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of... Remember that time we asked him to look at something and he, he's... His IG came out, we're like, whoa, me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's... Pull it up on the screen. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to and then he's afraid of what we ask him to look for. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is it him? They, mean, don't, they don't know. It looks like him. I mean, like, there's, there's a lot of stories about Ric Flair. On planes he's, and trains. Wait, hold on. How, he, do you yo, to, how, he, do you, how do you get to eat someone's he's, ass? He's eating ass right there, <laughs> how my do you friend. How you get to eat someone's ass in a train? <laughs> I don't know. And, it just, and someone just walking by, he's like, I gotta get a photo of this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that picture, though. She got her legs back like like she's at the fucking proctologist. <laughs> Dude, he is tongue deep he's in there. He's in her. <laughs> uh, terrible. Anyway, so fucking funny. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me. It's Ric Flair. I bet they were. I bet that guy did. As, as, as a fucking rotten tomato that it looks like now, I bet he was slaying. Dude, there's scene. stories oh, about him like nude on airplanes, showing the studers all his opening the robe, giving him the old cornucopia. You know, nice, dude. I watched the. Uh, did I tell you that I watched the uh, the Kiss documentary? No. And uh, I didn't know they had, like, uh, so many guitarists. Well, members, actually. Like, the only OG members are the Gene and Stan. Gene and Stanley. And, yeah. Um, so, uh, Paul. Paul Stanley. Paul Chris. Paul Chris, the, the drummer, right? The drummer was yeah. the original, but he left the band. And then Ace Freely yeah. left the band. And, yeah, they've had a couple of drummers and guitarists since then. So, the... They were, so they had they had a drummer I can't remember who I had, had worse with names but he he begged the guy he was into drugs and all that stuff and begged the guys to come back just to record a song a, 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 a video of, the, of the, a song that they've done <clears throat> and it was the song that was kind of slow God gave rock and roll to you okay <laughs> so he recorded that video and the next day he passed away do you know what that the uh, drummer do you know what that <clears throat> song was from uh-uh. bill and ted's fucking bogus oh, journey that's right that's right that was on the soundtrack that's right that's a good song actually yeah and then he gives you like all the uh oh and by the way shout out to uh uh gene siemens he got covid <laughs> oh did he <laughs> yeah caught the vid huh dude the world's coming to an end joe rogan got covid yeah, but he beat it in yeah, two he days. It. He's like, yeah. yeah, I was sick one day. He's yeah. like, but it, they took that horse fucking uh, deworming shit that they're telling everybody not to take. But it, when he had the list of stuff to take, I'm like, of course you took all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. You took shit that nobody else could yeah. get a hold of. Probably right? gets brought up to you. Yeah. Yeah. He took penicillin, that vermicide or whatever it is, the, the dewormer, the animal yeah. dewormer. He took that shit and then got IV drips and shit like that. Yeah, it's Joe so. Rogan, dude. He'll get whatever. Oh, I... Uh, I also drank uh, unicorn piss, and uh, it's like, yeah, we get it. You got everything that no one else gets. <laughs> but, um, mm. what is this? Shout out Charlie oh, fucking. Yeah, yeah. We haven't talked about that either. Yeah. Another drummer, dude. Yeah. Charlie Watts. <sighs> Long time Rolling Stone drummer, right? Yeah. Dude, Rolling Stone. Rolling Stones, just like. Uh, just like Aerosmith, the original members. Oh, yeah. Throughout the entire yeah. time. Well, not Aerosmith. They had a different... They did have a different guitarist at one point. What happened to Joe Perry? Joe Perry left the band for a little while. Did that solo project, uh, and then Aerosmith did some well, stuff. But I, I, and, I didn't think he left it. I think he just mm-hmm. went to do this. Yeah, they, have a, they have an album. Couple, I, I might even made a couple albums recorded with a different guitar player. Hmm. Well, yeah, so the... Uh, 
Kiss, they went through two different drummers and well, three different drummers actually. Yep. And and uh, three different guitarists. Yep. And you see him without masks. It was like, God damn, that's a lot of miles. Have, have you guys ever uh, listened to the uh, Kiss Unplugged? Yeah. Fucking great album. Great album. I remember back in the 90s when MTV decided to do that. That I think it was MTV. Mm-hmm. Decided to do that interview with other, with other paint. Because they, yep. they talk about it. It says, I think, you know, let's talk about, you know, how vulnerable we become or whatever let's take let's get rid of the makeup and when they were showing the you know like paul stanley and he's like it's like james simmons is all fucking i'm like god damn did you they get did, run over before you got here in the, in the 80s they did a couple albums without the paint yeah. lick it up <laughs> dun, 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 yeah. lick it up that was with that without the paint also it's kind of considered rock and roll but this bubblegum rock right yeah it's bubblegum rock yeah. my dad used to always tell me i'm like you don't like kiss dad he's like i don't listen to that bubblegum shit that's where I get it from. So, so like, you, uh, so you, that's a rocker. Yeah, my dad. I, I seen, I seen. What does he listen? Um, when so he was like, um, if I was to reach into like the old man's record <clears throat> collection, what would you consider rock? So, uh, dad listened to Black Sabbath. That's what I was gonna say. Ozzy. Um, you know, Ozzy. Um, he listened to like uh, Dio. D- exactly, Dio, Rainbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, stuff like that. Like. Uh, uh, not a rock band name, name back, Rainbow. back then what people were like, Oh, this is devil music. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, what my yeah. dad was into. Right. <laughs> That's what then he went, was. then he went through a state in the eighties where he listened to a lot of the hair metal bands. Like he was really into Dokken and, um, uh, Poison. see to him, uh, Motley <laughs> Crue was bubblegum rock. Because they and had the, the dress-up persona and the... Same as Poison. Exactly, yeah. Same it, as Poison. There was not a Poison album in my dad's collection. <clears throat> Same thing. That, that's Pussy Rock. <laughs> it kind of is. He's though. all, take a drink of beer, Justin. I'm like seven. He's like, now this is Pussy Rock. <laughs> look at it. See, look. Oh, my God. Damn, dude. look at Gene. He's look, like, I have a tanning bed. Look at Ace, dude. That's like... That's like a woman. That's not Ace. Is it? Oh, yeah, that's the other one, huh? Yeah. That's his ace. No, that's not Ace. Nope. Those other two right there. That's the guy there. That's the guy to die. Yeah. That drummer. Yep. With the... Oh, I will oh, say something. I don't know if I'm supposed to say... With the afro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're, yeah, ma- you're Mexican. Back <laughs> Get away with it. Oh, they're... Ah, dude. They're coming. I would love to go see him. Kiss? Yeah. Yeah, I would too. You know who's back in playing? Limb Biscuit, dude. Yeah, well, not anymore. They suspended <sighs> everything because of COVID. I think one of them got it. That's what, two weeks? Uh, no, they canceled the tour. God damn it. Because of COVID. Man. But they, sure were, they, were co- they were rocking it out I'm sure there they were for a while. Here. They, I, I get the same problem here that I used to get in my hometown. Because like, my hometown is like a, like a well-known uh, city. But it's not like the big ones that the big acts do. It's not L.A. It's exactly right. So it's it's not like Mexico City. Right. It's not like uh, another one. No, I can't. I can't, couldn't come out with anything. But like if you if you were traveling here to do shows, you're like, oh, we're doing L.A., New York, and the the biggest reason bands Alaska. will come here is because it's on the way yeah. to from Denver. To California, or yeah. Vegas, yeah, or Vegas, right? So, so my, it's my that's usually a stopping point if they have a day in between, and they can sell enough tickets here in a good arena. Yeah, yeah. So, but but we do get the shaft on a lot of the big bands, but sometimes you get pretty yeah, surprised yeah, sure. here because there's a we have some good venues here that hold a lot of people. Once the USANA came, it was kind of a game changer, right? Yeah. Um, also, how about USANA being a a venue you can only use what like six months? Uh-huh. Makes sense though. Uh, when, when you want to have outdoor festival concerts. The, it's a good stop. When the wife and I went to see Aussie there, it was pouring like a mother, dude. We were all rocking in ponchos. Nice. Yeah. Sucked. Nice. Sucked bad. But hmm. what do you do? You know, you still got time, Aussie. <laughs> Three more, three more months. Four more. Couple months, months right? <laughs> What's on your guys' uh, concert bucket list? Like people that you would love to see before. Oh, happy you asked this. I just asked the wife if she would like to go to see System of a Down in Vegas. That's one of my 
Every time I hear System of a Down, I think of you. Even on the, Aww, the it's cute. The Sing Two trailer. I just went to uh I went to get my, my oil change today and my tire rotation. And uh, I sat there playing with my phone, and one of the uh, YouTube videos um, was Ghetto Gaggers. But the only one, the other one was uh, 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 System of a Down video. And I was like, or a concert. I was like, oh, yeah, dude. And I was like, fucking. Oh, Everybody's exactly. talking to me. Angel, your truck's done. Angel. And I'm like. Is anybody on your bucket list that you need to see? Like, either before you pass or before they pass? You know, the music that I really got into, I've seen all those bands. Um, I'm in multiple times. I don't, I don't think I have a band that I, <clears throat> there's bands that aren't together anymore that I would love to go see, um, that would be on a bucket list, but I don't have anybody right now that I think I absolutely have to see. I've seen everybody do the, through the, the nineties and the two thousands. I went to a concert every other week. You sound like you're 53 years old. I am 53 years old, for God's sake. I, I also, I it, when it comes to me, I would like to see Kiss, but I don't, I don't, I only know a few songs of Kiss. So for me, Kiss, it'll I'll be. I bet more, you would know more than you think. So, so for me, although every single song they were playing a documentary, I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's that. I didn't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, that, it's like the Cars. Bands, remember, you know? you're like, they play that song. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I uh, like more than that. I would like, I would like to go. <laughs> As stupid as it sounds, just so I can say, "Oh, I've seen kids." Yeah, like no, when, absolutely. When uh, one of them, uh, I don't even want to say it because of the fucking jinx that this show has on everybody. But I, when they're not here anymore, I'll be like, "I got to see." Yeah, them. yeah. No, I guess you could say Kiss because I've never seen Kiss. I'd like yeah. to go see Kiss. That'd be a good one. Would you if if you would you go see the Rolling Stones? Um, see, that's how I am. But I'm not a big fan of the yeah. Rolling Stones. Like the uh. I'll listen to a song if it pops up on the radio, but yeah. I've never been like, oh, the Rolling Stones, greatest rock and roll band yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. Never See, been Rolling that. Stones, for, by the way, Queen right now is fucking pulling his hair. But uh, for me, like, if the Rolling Stones were going to come here, to me, it would, it would work better if it was at the USANA so I can buy a, a grass but, uh, ticket for like 25 bucks. Yeah. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, dude. and I've seen them. Yeah. yeah. And I got, exactly, there you go. Yeah. Check. You know what? You know who I would let? Well, no, because I already seen them. Never mind. You said do that. Like you're just cool with like whatever seats. Because when I see bucket list bands, I do. I'm like super extra. But but I went down that. I went down that road. I would get front row tickets, and it was the worst. It was better to sit back, not be jammed to the front. Yeah. Sit down comfortably and enjoy the Especially show. Especially because of the music that you like. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing yeah. you're talking about, you go on the front that is like mosh pit, people vomiting yeah. on your fucking chest. I, I saw um, Pantera and White Zombie at um, Saltair. Yeah. Back in 98, mm. 97, 98. And it was, I have to get as close as I can. And it was the most miserable experience yeah. ever. But then I went to the up, up, up to the banister area yeah. and got to enjoy the show. So I, I've been there. If it's seats, man, eh, maybe. But I, I'm done with the mosh pits and shit. Yeah, so I'm, I'm too old I'm, for that I'm shit. I'm a different. So Earth, Wind, and, Earth, Wind, and Fire was one for me. Oh, the, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no mosh pit on that one. Yeah, there's no mosh pit there. <laughs> yeah, but are those guys alive anymore? Red. Yes. Oh, yeah, they yeah. are? Oh, yeah, all but... Uh, uh, the original, but writer. they still play. Yes. They still tour. Yeah, oh no, they, shit! They were still touring. I didn't want to say. And and I and I. Oh, my bad. Not only did I get as close as possible, but I also paid the extra to meet them. And Mark Eaton was back there, so I mean that tells you how long ago. And, that was. and of course, you pay them extra money. Mark Eaton's sitting right in front of you. All fuck! <laughs> Damn you, Mark! <laughs> I can see so shit. <laughs> Um, that would be my luck. Stevie Wonder. Five hundred dollars and you can't see anything. Stevie Wonder, Lionel Richie. How about, how about Santana? Would you go see Santana? I would go see Santana. I actually have tickets for that. Yeah, I would go see Whenever Santana. Whenever the fuck it comes, Santana and Earth Wind of Fire. Yeah, is this one of your stories like your soccer players or you know? No, no, no. I have I bought tickets for the concert that was, was supposed to be at Youth, yeah. Youth Sauna. How many did you that get? That got postponed to uh, me, my mom, and King. Oh, but I'm sure that was It was supposed to be King's first concert and then it became uh Big bad voodoo daddies. COVID says, hold my bats. Yeah. 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 They come Black the last, Magic Woman. Last time they came, dude. Dude. dude that is badass. That song. L- yeah. Dude. If you ever watch the uh, 
the uh, Woodstock, the original, the original uh, Woodstock documentary, and you watch fucking Carlos Santana jamming out, dude. Do you it. you want to say? Do you want to talk about a dude that is so fucking into the music? Dude, can you look? Can you look? Uh, can you look this up? If I'm not mistaken, Santana was sexually abused by her fa- by his father. Oh, great. So fits right in the other side of the beehive. Yeah. So, yeah we were, Episode 136. We were getting, we were getting out of lines. <laughs> yeah, right. let, yeah, let me bring yeah, you bring, back. Bring it back down. <laughs> Let's talk about dick touching no, because, from, fa- from fucking adults. No, because Shit. because uh, I remember clearly there was, uh, there was one time that I had this Spanish-speaking band, and we went and did an interview with... Uh, uh, Telemundo, as a matter of fact, this, your boy yes. is legit, bro. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it is confirmed. He was sex. He revealed he was so sexually abused as a child, uh, ten or twelve years old. And I said, I said that on the radio, on a, a Telemundo radio station. And I'm like, well, I don't know if you know this, but and and then as I grew older. I'm like, yo, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck did I hear that? Every time we leave here and I'm on the ride home, that I say something on the podcast, I'm like, hope that was true. <laughs> and most of the time, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> well, you know, I'm probably the worst fat fact checker in the world. Okay? Well, you know, I, I if you might be the worst fact checker, but I'm the biggest bullshitter this fucking state of Utah has to offer as far as podcasting. <laughs> Yo, how about we reach out to those girls and they never get back? Oh yeah, so <laughs> tell you should tell the story. So, um, so Brooke Mangum, I think that's her last name, uh, married last name, uh, have a podcast with has a podcast with Kaylin Hansen. Yep. Now these two girls used to work at fr- well, they were working at Fresh Living Utah, I think it is. Yeah. Um, Kaylin just quit, and I think she's doing something else and it started her own podcast her episodes are like 50 minutes long i was like i can probably not yeah. listen to that but anyway so they have this podcast called on living unscripted yeah and they put i follow brooke like i mean i have photos with brooke and she has photos on my bike and shit so i she posted a thing on her story or whatever on her instagram and i said hey would you guys be interested in coming to do our pods? And so far I said, would you guys be interested in coming to do our podcast? And then I tagged us the other side of the beehive. So first off, the first one's all, absolutely. Yeah. The second one's all, yes, yes. exclamation, exclamation, yeah. exclamation. And, uh, I'm and, like, and you and I were like, oh, we're shit. in, dude. Yeah. We're in. Fuck this community. We're going to start another one. Then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, so, so can I explain where Angel <laughs> fucked up? <laughs> Angel goes on to say, well, so go ahead on our IG and take a look at our clips <laughs> just to see if it's something that you're like. Zero. It's crickets, dude. Crickets, dude. Hit the Craigle button. <laughs> <laughs> this, <he's got> a- <laughs> That's what we got. <laughs> um, well, but here's my, maybe I shouldn't because there they are. By the way, beautiful ladies. But my thing is. That light. Should, they, I, should that, I not next time? They got that. No, you should. You should. It was smart. And, and Fair my, warning. It's like a warning my, shot. My thing is like, look, obviously, we don't want them here to be like, yo. Yeah, look at our. You're getting the dick pics? Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I know we've done it with Becca. But <laughs> but, what's your, what's um, your woman crush? But, yeah, uh, yeah I'm sure they'll answer that. Mm. But I was like, and I've done it, you know, like when they post stories. When I see them, I see how long ago they've done it. And if it's like 15 minutes or whatever, I've, I've done it. It's like, hey, is that a no? <laughs> and I'm like, we're fine if you say no. <clears throat> we're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did you? I was, I was hanging out with uh, the Bex today. And uh, she she's like, you're coming with me. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, I'm getting, we're getting our toes done. I was like, mm. I don't get my toes done. And she goes, no, we're doing it. It's like. <sighs> you don't like people touching your toes, Justin? Do you even listen to this podcast? Yeah, are you a fan? <laughs> Dude, so they, no. So, so no. I sit there. First of all, I sit there. And then you have to put your feet in this. <sighs> you love this. You have to put your feet in this hot ass tub. Oh, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sit there. You done this? Yeah. I've had pedicures. 
I'll never do it. Yeah. Here's Bernie the Mac thing. said it was cool, so I'm, I'm, I'm down. Who did? Bernie Mac. He said, here's, Miss Kim. Here's the thing. pedicures and manicures. Here's the thing. My feet are not jacked by any means. So, I can honestly say once they took care of it, of them, first of all, I put my shoes down, and I didn't see them until, like, a couple of hours away because I beat his shoes this whole time. And then I took my socks off. I was like, well, they don't look any different. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I wasn't going to put polish on them because I'm not Eric Iman. Right. You know? But I was like, and she's like, you want color? I'm like, no, lady. I'm not putting color on my fucking feet. You don't feet. put clear? <clears throat> you don't clear mud? Fuck no. So... I just go, no, I'm good. And obviously, uh, Miss is busting my balls, or Miss, busting my balls. And I was like, this is just weird, because I don't, I don't do this. And, uh, and obviously, she's getting old. She's getting her feet in, like, a machine or whatever, because she's getting, like, the gel and getting the color and shit. And I'm just like, you did that, too? No, no, no. I just, I've seen it done. Oh. And then all of a sudden, because all I'm doing is getting cleaned up. I get done, and she's got another 15 minutes to go, so I'm just sitting there. Oh, lucky but, you. But I will say this, though. The <clears throat> chairs, pretty comfortable. they vibrating also, chairs? Also, they vibrate. Oh, yeah, there you I was, go. I was talking to Becca, and I was like, are you laughing your ass off? Because she's just, like, getting massaged. And I was like, oh, you're not laughing. You're just fucking... You're coming. <laughs> I used to take my ex-wife to get uh, manicures, and I made a deal that I'd bring her every two weeks if I get to sit in a chair for free. And get a back row. Oh, you the, didn't get your massage feet. chair. No, this, those massage chairs. It's like the <laughs> the shit in the mall. Like but you don't uh, go to the but I would never sit I get that. that once a month. No, I need I need to go to a chiropractor probably. But but I would never sit in that chair from the fucking mall. Well, I know it wasn't but, a mall, but I get it. I get but, you. No, I got you. But, but <laughs> it's it's really cool. You put your feet in the in the hot water. <clears> yeah, and, that, and dude, uh, for someone who's not used to, I only have one fucked up toe. It doesn't like hot ass water like you do obviously i sit there and i'm like oh what the fuck and i was like this fucking hurts really and then the lady right next to me because because becca's like oh it's just for becca's loud as shit so he's like oh it's his first time and i was just like hi and so the lady right next to me starts fucking saying oh you're gonna love it and this and that and then she starts telling me about his fucking her fucking family all get together i'm like listen bitch i i'm done talking about this did you tip her i didn't pay for it oh <laughs> the, only thing I, the only thing i don't like is when they rub the desk skin off the bottom of your foot it tickles. Huh? <sighs> yeah, I did, did that, but I wasn't man enough to be like. But I love, I love the fact <clears throat> they lotion up my legs. Oh my god! My, my feet okay, it's great. It's good Dead times. skin, fucking yeah. Good times. Good times. It just freaks me out. I just. I took King. I King. I took my son. Me and my son went and got. All right, we're done, Brian. Thank you. Fuck, dick. <laughs> Asshole. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Come over here, Brian. You can sit back there. Brian just got two hats. Yes. Two Today. hats? I got two. Two hats, one B? Yeah, one head. Two. So. You got two hats row. Yo, by the way, how about I... I what I, kind of hats? This one's... one's oh, you hat. did? Yeah. yeah. I got fedoras, huh? I got fedoras. Dude, motherfucker went in ballers on money. Oh, oh, wow. I'm like, I like that one. I like that one. So why are you going to take it? So both? I'm like... Oh fuck! Let me step out of the room. You become bro. a you become a trendsetter there, Angel. Yeah, you know. He said I can't wear them with shorts, and I, I disagree. But I mean, what well, yeah, are you a fucking Bill Murray? Yeah, <laughs> yes I am. I'm about his. I'm about his age. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Uh, yeah, dude. But how about so I come out and I do the fucking story, trying to you know take a job at Lonzo, and I say, oh, you just got your. Uh, Two hat roads and it's two roads hats. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Yeah, you met. And, you I, met, you met, and, and my dumbass yeah, tag. Oh, that's the mark on that one. They didn't ask for that discount they gave me back because the, we fucked the, up the promo. The owner is like, "Yo, you just tagged them. You can read that <laughs> we're not the in. promo, bro." <laughs> oh, it's the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> mm, fuck. And I see him, and he's got new kicks too. I was like, "Damn, dude." Yeah. Yo, I watched a, a video <clears throat> on somebody making a hat like that. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. He took this flat piece of fucking material, and he put it over this thing, and he, like, formed it, and, and, and he just basically took the hat yeah. to his chest and put the fucking folds in it, and it was perfect. Yeah. You know, I was, was blown away how they made hats. I thought it was... And they're like, this would be $3,000. No, and I thought, <laughs> but, like, to me... I thought it was like the top piece and the bottom piece put together, but no, yeah. it's one piece of material. Huh. Pretty blown away. 
Dude, I, uh, the only thing that bothers me, though, is, like, they don't have that many... Dude hats? Yeah. Look, but they have many of them, but, like, to me, like, I like this. I don't like the, st- the straw ones, because I'm not Londo from the jo- o- Young OG, well, whatever not, their name not, is. You're Mexican, you're not Cuban, so... Exactly. And mm. I don't work in the fields. You have, you have picking no... Up, picking up letters and shit. Bahama Joe t-shirts. You should have seen all the hats that I saw when I went to uh, Texas, Dallas. Yeah. That place where I, but yeah, it yeah. was like yeah, but that's like cowboy shit. It, it, but it was, but it was like a thousand hats, and they all were different. Look up JW hats for me, please. Yeah. Um, so the women's section is fucking huge. The guys is just like one little tiny wall, and all they do is like they have this hat in like two colors. The other hat that I have in two colors, and the other one in two colors. So mm. that, like, that's and the, the only reason why I haven't bought any other was because the other ones don't convince me as much. Yeah, and I'm like, well, if you're not feeling I need it, more. But apparently, apparently, there's there's people that buy, there's guys that buy the women hat. You wear women's hats? Yeah, because no one exactly knows. Yeah, that really? that's what, that was my question. <clears throat> I was like, how do you tell the difference between a woman's hat and a men's hat? So They're you like, can you can take like a like a like a a lady's hat and have like a little shiny ribbon around or whatever, and you can just change it for something like this. So it's like, like a, so like it looks a thicker. So it looks manlier. Oh, okay. But I was like, for a person to like call me. Are, out, you, are you looking for JW custom hats? Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> um. Oh, that one in the middle. I would wear that one. Now go. Go to yep, sh- very go to top, shop, very shop. top of, above the guitar. That's the one I would wear. Yeah, that big tall one. That I could put a rabbit in there. <laughs> That's the one I would wear. If it comes with a rabbit, we better. Yeah, he go, does. Go, go shop now, and I'm gonna tell you which one I want. Okay, keep going down. The Roper. I like eight seconds. I like desert tur- turkeys. Whatever this is. turquoise. That, turquoise. That one, the the other one you were at, that one. The both brown ones I like, because you know I'm Mexican. Can we go to number two, please? And then I like this one. That's my. This is gonna be my uh, my uh, Kiefer Sutherland one. That one right there. The groom. The, 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 yeah, looks like it's backwards. Keep going down. I, I can think. rock the jazz. I keep this. Rock and roll. Like you own a cantina when you buy that shit. <laughs> I look like Billy the Kid. <laughs> From Young no, Guns? Great one. Money. Oh, yeah. There oh, you go. Oh, dude. Comes with a rifle. The, oh, <laughs> tall gambler. Uh, and then uh, I think. Tycoon. Is that it? Yeah, this is number three. Yeah, that's it, I think. Hmm. You see how much that was, though? No, they don't have prices go, on them. Yeah, they, well, go to number two. Uh, well, oh, really okay. Number. Now I can see the price on yeah, a couple yeah. of them. Yeah. This, they're on sale, though. They're Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, it's uh, Labor Day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Guess what? When I sell my house, I'm going to give me a Queefer Sutherland. A Queefer Sutherland, huh? Did you have the vest to match this? <laughs> <laughs> and a little scar- And a little, uh, uh, what's that? The silk scar? The silk scar? The skill scar- <laughs> And uh, the turquoise fucking necklaces <laughs> that you can get from you the, the Indian the, trade the, post? Yeah, the matching. The matching uh, what, do you, what do you call the, uh, the little... Uh, bandana you put on the on the. Uh, b- 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 starts with a B. A bib. I almost said a bayonet. <laughs> That's a knife. That's what a real man would wear. <laughs> Not a fucking. <laughs> What's yeah, it called? I, I I don't even know what to search on Google right now for you Say, guys. Um, oh, yeah. uh, a pup, 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 uh, it's in my it's on my tongue. <laughs> That's a good song. <laughs> pup, pup, pup. <laughs> That's the only words I know. <laughs> It's not even words. <laughs> <laughs> the appell? Is that what it is? Uh, I think so. It's the sex appell. Uh, just type in um, jacket appell. He's <laughs> Brian, so how do I... <laughs> 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 Brian, did we hurt your feelings? Lapel, you mean? There you go. Lapel. lapel. There lapel. you go. Lapel? There you go. Good job. Yep. That's what it's called. What are they? It's the accent in the pocket. That's it. Lapel. It's a, it's a, it's a lapel. 
It's a handkerchief. Dude, you, uh, yo, go to the second picture. Forever 21. No, go right, left. Right left, left. That one. Click on that picture for just one second. <laughs> you see what I see? No. Oh, he looks way better than that. In the in the small picture, he. <laughs> well, I thought it was a mannequin. <laughs> Look at that jacket. Styling. Yeah, yeah, some zippers on it. Dude, how about this? Do you and I do a photo shoot for this fucking podcast in suits, like the Men in Black, like that kind of like tight? Well, we'd have to suit. rent one. Well, yeah, for sure. Right. Well, well, how are you with renting stuff? Uh, <laughs> I rented a I rented a tux for my wedding. All black. Yeah. Everything black. The lady's like, really? I'm like, like yes. Shut up, bitch. All black. All black. Everything. She's all the shirt. I says, all black. It has to be all black. You going to She's a, like, Sarah, you're going to a funeral? Exactly. <laughs> I says it's a wedding. She's like, okay. I looked baller as fuck. You have pictures of this thing? Yeah. In your social media? Um, I could show you. Well, you can look can, it up. Can we look it up? Mm-hmm. Or on Instagram? Uh, on no, it wouldn't be on uh, Instagram. MySpace? It would be on uh, Justin. Probably Simmons. MySpace. <laughs> yeah, it might be on MySpace actually. <laughs> as long ago as it that was. was. A nice job, <laughs> motherfucker. As long as it was. Um, you know what? It might not AOL be. It, it might not be on there now okay. that I think about it. I yeah. Think, I think it is. She was wearing white. Yeah, of but, course she was wearing white. Yeah. But, hmm. Of course, we had our bastard child there. So <laughs> why she was wearing white, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, yo! Speaking of this, can you look up why is this is the saying you can't wear white after Labor Day? That's a good question. That's a good question. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know the answer, but that's a great question. But I have heard that saying quite yeah. a bit, right? Can wear white after. What was that movie? Something something happened out of jail. And then they walked away, and somebody goes, you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. Oh, I don't know. You, ah, what's that fucking movie? Anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why. You can't wear white after Labor Day. The rule was created to separate the old money. Let's, you have to zoom in a little bit. Enlist from the new money group. For those who had money and could leave the city during uh, warmer months, white was considered vacation attire. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. You separate so, old money from new money. So what about this? The rule about wearing white after Labor Day, the, uh, it may sound strange, but it's true. Many Americans put away their white clothes on Labor Day and do not wear them again until the following May after Memorial Day. One reason for the clothing custom relates to the season. In the United States, the months between June and September are summer. You know what? It makes sense because... <clears throat> um, Which one, though? Uh, the bottom one. Okay. Because when it's shitty weather, snowy... You don't want to wear yeah, white because get you'll get muddy. it all fucking muddy and dirty, right? So it makes sense. So in the summertime, it would be dry and you would in wear the, the white. So does that, because uh, Labor Day kind of marks fall, right? Right. It's like almost the start, the end of summer. Are we in right? fall now or is it Monday? No, it's not fall yet. Not We're fall still yet. in summertime, but it's in, you're scratching your nuts. I'm sure everybody can hear that on the mic. It's actually my inner thigh. That was DJ Lethal on your fucking pants right there, bud. He's <laughs> <laughs> all wicka, 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 wicka. Um, I have uh, first say. day of fall is going to be uh, September 22nd. Yeah. So, very close. Next week, football starts. Yes. Yes. Real football starts <clears throat> because the preseason has been going on, That's what right? I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Quinn sends me all of his fucking Snapchats. Me and Quinn been chatting. Yeah. We've been chatting back and forth. You guys the Niners, yeah. Yeah, uh, he's uh he's watching his football and I'm like he's like, dude, what oh it was you. Yeah, it was me. Because yeah. me and Tri- me and Quinn were chatting. He's like, oh, yeah. I talked to Angel, I'm like, I'll get that motherfucker. <laughs> because the Packers got their ass beat by BYU co or BYU uh, quarterback. Uh, I don't even know who's the I thought it was Jordan Love. Not there anymore? No, it's, uh, what's that, Carson? Daly? <laughs> Might not even be Carson. <laughs> Just sounded like a BYU name. <laughs> it's either, it's you either have the name, yeah, it's, or, your name is either Carson or Stockton <laughs> at BYU. <laughs> I what, was a, what was the BYU quarterback that played for the Bears? 
Um, that was like I'm so um, shocked. Um, Mick, Mick, McNabb, McNabb, was that it? Mick Foley, Mick and Allen. Look it up. BYU quarterbacks. Mick Jagger. I'm probably way off. Jump to Mick. Jim Mick now. Jim, yeah, Mick something. Mick, 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 yeah. I was in. I was in the. Speaking of Mick, ooh, um, it's finally happening. Okay. The federal government has had enough of their shit. What are we talking about? So McDonald's is being investigated by the oh, FTC, that's right, that's the right. Federal Trade Company, that's right. on why their goddamn <laughs> ice cream machines. Are always oh, broken. Yes, I, heard about I will. That. I will say. I went to. I, I went to Macadies yesterday, and they gave me my shit. And as a matter of fact, it was bigger than it usually is. I was like, "Damn, you your ice cream cone." Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Damn, you guys want this to break down, don't you?" How many times have you gone to McDonald's? Say, I just want a McFlurry or a, a fucking ice cream cone. They're like, I don't fuck with those. Yeah, bro. sorry, bud. I don't go to McDonald's for ice cream. When you're drunk and yeah, it's the only thing dude. open and you want an ice cream cone, like you go to McDonald's. Yeah, like yeah. yesterday, I was like, when dude, do I it's want gonna... an ice cream cone when I'm drunk? Oh, Jesus Christ, Brian. Brian. God damn it. He doesn't I fucking... Go to Beto's, man. They're, they never let me down. They Get always have plan. plenty of side of fries. McDonald's broken ice cream machine are part of the FTC investigation. Well, that's a federal trade... Company. Well, the FTC won't let me be easy. I'm just kidding. That's FTC. <laughs> <laughs> well, finally, we're going to get some fucking ice cream. We're like going to get some fucking answers. And they say the reason is, is because somebody, uh, a trained technician has to come in and uh, fix the ice cream machine. And the reason they're investigating is they're like, well, why can't your own people? Yeah fix these ice cream machines. And it's funny that it brings it up because how many times have we talked about this over yeah, the years yeah. that Dude, the fucking thing is I, always broken? We even made it... Uh, I, I wrote that as a Dresspanol <sighs> sentence. I was like, I went to this fast food restaurant and the machine wasn't broken. But um, I always thought, which makes total sense, I always thought that there was people not wanting to fuck <sighs> with it because they have to clean it. Oh, yeah. And you're talking about milky shit and all that. It gets a little greasy, yes, sticky. Exactly. They're probably closing at one and staying until three. But you know what? If I was if I was working at McDonald's and I had to clean something there, that's what I would clean. Yeah, you don't want to go with the no, fry who shit. Want, yeah, the who wants to clean the oil? Fuck who that. wants to clean the grill? Or Although, the, do the, you think it's the, the same oil, though? What do you mean? Like uh, this oil. We use this oil, same oil, like two days, three days. Uh, I've heard that there is a time limit on it, yeah. and they pump it out and pump it back in. But I think it, they can go a day or two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I used to work for a restaurant supply company, and those machines break down because of ice buildup in the motors. Mm. And Good that's, point. that's why it's because they're not cleaning them regularly. Oh, okay. Um, the way that they're supposed to. Yo, and they have, they down, I would like, assume they have Freon in them, right? Yeah, to they, keep and, yeah, everything they, cold, they, like a, they, like a, yeah. a freezer, it's, right? It's kind of like when your ice machine at home, if you don't every now and again, <clears> you know, clean it out, empty out all the ice, right. eventually you get built up and then the motor won't turn. And Yo, it's, it's, it's like my fridge in sense. my house, okay? I have ice, a fridge at my house. Ice maker? No, no, just, just a fridge. It's just a two door open. It's not very big because you you know you've been to my In house. My my fucking my kitchen is very you have small. A poly pocket house. I, I do. Yeah. It, it's a very small house. Um, we bought the house. The fridge was still in it. The fridge is from the eighties. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure, right? It's <laughs> the cream colored. It's ugly as fuck. There was probably body parts in there at one oh, point. We have always said, when the fridge takes a shit, we will replace it, right? And we always joke about ah, you know. Let's go look at fridges. And fridges are not cheap. Fuck no. But I'm telling you what. This fucking fridge is the best fridge in the world. It keeps everything so cold. It's loud as shit. We're laying downstairs and a fucking boom, wake up. Fucking, I think a, a car hit the fucking uh, house. Just no, it's, some just, it's just the fucking, uh, the <laughs> fridge bigger. fucking kicking onto the fucking deal. But... I pray every day it breaks. We have that excuse to go and fucking buy a new fridge, Dude, but it will not die. The one that we It's like the dog you have it. You're, you're like, all right, bud, you can't see. You can't walk. Yeah. You fucking stink. You need to go, but he keeps going and going He's and going. show you, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. So old as fuck. <laughs> Dude, when I, we, we ended up, so we had 
a fridge that we bought this house with. I mean, not with, but we had it with us. It was given to us, and we used it. And they took a shit, and we had to go buy another one. Obviously, the wife and I are like, yo, let's go with the one that you touch the screen, and it lights up, and it's oh, glass yeah, the and shit. It's shit, like, huh? yeah, $5,000. Oh, yeah. Like, it's a fucking fridge. Yeah, but a fridge is like a mattress. You know what I mean? True. Like, you're going to have it for many years. Yeah. So, it's going to be something <laughs> yeah, expensive. Yeah, look, look at your fucking right? fridge. Exactly, right? <laughs> and so, I always joke. I'm like, if we ever buy one, I'm going to move it out to the garage. And it will probably outlast the fucking new one that we buy every time. Uh, interesting. Those burn my lips. I went back so to... So bad. Really? Yes. I went back to them. Because the other ones... I don't know if my fucking... Fat ass bodies, like I was, getting, getting I was used into the, the mangoes because you got me hooked to yeah. the mango ones. They're too sweet. Yeah, yeah they're see? too sweet. And if you ask me, mangoes flavor like goes away fast. This mm, one stays. I don't think so. To me, <clears throat> to me, this one stays. Either that was the fact that it's burning you live longer. Cause yeah, see those. I I put those on and just like, oh god, it's fucking excruciating. I did put one yesterday at, at work and it gave me the biggest headache. I was like, oh. really? Yeah. I like to put one on on my ride to work, on my drive to work. Yeah. Because I get all fucking spun. Like, yeah. It's like when you would smoke that first fucking cigarette. Yeah. We get all lit in the morning. That's the feeling I get when I take one of those in the morning. Sip a hot coffee, a little fucking six fucking uh, coffees in. Gets me rocking. And then as soon as I get to the office, I have to take a massive shit. And, and, and fortunately, I get to the office before everybody. I'm the first oh, one yeah, there every nice, time. Nice. And so I, I spread my I take the handicap stall. Yeah. I spread my legs and I just let her rip because I know nobody's walking through that. You door. know what has happened to me? I <clears throat> So at work, we have radios. We have these radios, right? And, uh, and so they... <laughs> But hold on. I know where no, this no, is no, going. <laughs> so everybody, everybody grabs him and hangs him. Do you know how we have that little lapel here? <laughs> <laughs> That's called a callback, gentlemen. That's a callback, you fucks. <laughs> no one's doing that out there. No, but uh, you know how mm. it, it has that. See what I'm saying? Oh. So it has that little piece of cloth that you can hang your your radio. Yeah. But everybody that hangs their fucking radio like that, all day long, I see him fighting because it has the antenna. And if you sneeze, you're going to stab yourself in the nostril. <laughs> so what I do, I'm the only one that wears like the, uh, like the, 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 the landlines, phones. Keep going. You're fine. <laughs> you know, those umbilical cordons that the fucking phone has, they were all yep. in the spiral. Yep. So I have that and I plug it in and I go behind my back and then I clip it upside down. So oh, the point yeah. when I want, when I want to talk, all I have is a button that I go, Hey, fuck off. Uh, the, so the thing that happens is because it's because the cable is in my back, and the way I sit and I get in and out of the machines, where it starts wiggling out. Oh, okay. So it gets to a point where if you put it in or pull it out, but you're like in the middle, <clears throat> the radio turns on, and it's on the entire time. So if I'm wiggling and the and the cable kind of pulls out. So you got to shorten the cable. But it, but I was told that it happened to everybody. That's why nobody uses the microphone. Oh, okay. So I think it's because the way they're built, if it's like in the middle per se, not not all the way in, not all the way out, it, it turns the radio on so everybody can hear what you're saying. Right. Luckily for me, I haven't been talking shit about anybody when I do. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. <laughs> I don't think he listens, so I'm going to say this. I was talking shit about my boss the other day. <laughs> but the only problem was... I mean, luckily for me, I was talking to a Spanish-speaking guy. Oh. Got all that bitchy bandejo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude, it's, it's no good. But the, the, so then as I'm talking to him, and I'm just like laid out, right? And I'm just cussing, and I'm just all in Spanish. All of a sudden, my boss drives by, and then he goes, hey, your radio's on. And it keeps driving. I'm like, oh, shit. Dude, I freaked out and then I'm like wait hold on it's been in Spanish this whole time so maybe he can pick up like a couple you know, like words and puto and shit like that. <clears throat> but he don't know what I'm saying so I was like oh, that was good but so now I've gotten the the uh, the habit of when I go take a shit I unplug it I unplug the cable 
You're because, not doing a public service all, yeah. announcement <laughs> to the fucking to the fucking company. <laughs> public service fart announcer. Because because <laughs> for all I know, I I sit down and as I bend over to sit down, I pull that, and they hear me. Just letting loose, gaggling. letting the crack. What, what's, that, fucking... what's, that, what's, that, what's that noise like? Turkeys do. Like a no, but is that does that have a gaggle? A gaggle, <laughs> hear me gaggling. <laughs> <laughs> so every now so if you if you have your radio and you see me go to the shitter as i go to the shitter and i close it your radio goes because i everybody's radio goes because i take it out mm -hmm. and then when i put it back in it goes and then i come on i got sanitizer on my hands <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck dude, is your phone all right dude yeah, yeah you're fine. Sorts of, i got it's my too. scheduling week so i gotta oh i gotta watch it mm. mm -hmm. oh i didn't mean to fire while i was drinking Water break. So, anyway, want to get out of here? <clears throat> <clears throat> so, as open as we have been in this podcast. Yeah. Pretty open, right? Yeah. We kind of uh, not held a lot back, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm ready to release a secret. That I've had for a minute. Dude. <laughs> he didn't know what button to push. He's, he's, oh, oh, God damn it. Which oh, one is it? He's looking at the last. He's like, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll add that one. He does the part. Oh, fuck you when you're posed. Um, so I, mean, I heard this on Dre's podcast about things that. Yeah, so he kind of he kind of triggered it. He says, are you hiding anything? Because he heard the episode with uh, Becca and I. And how Becca was. Basically calling me out, calling me Ted Bundy because I like porn. <laughs> like 90% of yeah, every yeah. man ever fucking. Yeah. Not Brian. Brian goes to church. But uh, uh, so. Well, you're getting nervous here. No. He's like, oh, Robin, he's adjusting his hat. He put his fucking leg up. He's, he's starting, what happened to the TV there, bud? Did we just lose something? That's no. a good time to just not say computer. anything there, right? <laughs> The, 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 okay, the computer's okay. all No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the FTC saying that you need to shut it down. Shut it down. Hold it down. That's what yeah, happens when our machine breaks down. He saw, so you know about cabal and everything, right? In Afghanistan. Dude. <laughs> 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 the, the computer turns on, we're all shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. Mm. He, he kind of asked me one time, are you hiding it? But he was, obviously he was joking. And I almost said this. I would have, so I, and before you go any further, you sent me a text message today. Um, can I read the text message? No, just say off Kay. the top of your so head. So <laughs> you sent me a message saying, hey, I'm going to say something on the podcast. Because I think it's fitting, by the way, because of who we are. Be but I, first off, you, you, you were flat out. Don't make fun of me, yeah. right? We can have fun about it, but it's something that since we've been so open, I think I need to get out, right? You know. Was was basically, now I'm going to tell you, if you would have said it on that podcast, I would have been very disappointed. Yeah. I, I was shocked he didn't. Yeah. Like when it was put out there to say something that you, that nobody else <laughs> be knows. very disappointed. I, I, I would have been. I mean. We we all know we're boys. I mean, we, we've who's we? He doesn't know. You do. I know. You don't know. I don't know. No. no. And we and we've got 136 I mean, episodes. I'm, I'm I have no idea. 22 yeah. years now. So, but yeah. anyway, so uh, go ahead. No, that that was it. Yeah. That uh, that I wouldn't you know, make everybody fun. Everybody is like, just fucking say it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're smart enough to lay it. Way past the episode, because yeah, yeah, most yeah, of the time yeah. after half half hour, people are like nah, <laughs> turn it off. So smart of you to not. Yeah. Welcome back to the other <laughs> side of the behind. I shit By the urinal. way, <laughs> <laughs> I took a shit on urinal. Um, so uh, I've been insecure about it. Not insecure. Here's my thing. It's not that I have I have been insecure about it because my closest boys know. Oh man, that makes but me feel no, bad. And I, and I'm, and I want to tell you what it is, and I want to tell you why you don't know. I and Josevera from the other side of the beehive. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking nervous. I'm nervous for you. I have a foot fetish. 
Now, here's the reason why. I have, obviously, you can already tell why I haven't said it. We'll no longer hug. We, we will no longer fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, is this how people coming out of the closet feel? It's a huge weight off my shoulders. <laughs> go, oh, that's so great. <laughs> all of a sudden, your stomach's all... <laughs> you build all these muscles. All of a sudden, my teeth go down. <laughs> the one they're supposed to be. <laughs> you look like Jake Gyllenhaal all of a sudden. <laughs> your aging goes away by fucking looking, 10 years. I was looking years. like Logan Paul before. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Lou Diamond Phillips really pops out. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Okay. When you say foot fetish, now I promise you I would never tease you about that. And and I'm going to say. But you do know why I haven't said it. Yeah, I why? get it. I get because uh, I have the germs. There it is. And the foot are, yeah. are my biggest issues. It's been well documented on the podcast, right? Let's that just I, say it's a good thing we don't kiss. <laughs> Be with it. Where can they find you at? <laughs> anyway, go ahead. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Um, this is what I was this, saying. This is the other side of the beehive, right here. <clears throat> but but the, you know what? I will say this though. Here's 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 another another reason why it kind of pushed me to do it. Joe Rogan, Bert Kreischer, Tom Segura, uh, Andrew Schultz. Everybody knows about Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Rex Ryan, does you remember that? Yes. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Keep going. No, I just... So, when we say foot fetish, first off, name of the episode, I have a foot fetish. No, because it'll give it away. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right, you're right. I, guess, <clears throat> I, have, I have a secret. secret. I, have a, <laughs> no secret. <clears throat> I have a secret. <clears throat> um, There's a long pause here because I'm trying to not take it in and not my balls. And no, not 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 that because not I, puke because in the at the end of the day it's not that it's not that big of a deal, right? Yeah. Um, maybe for me, just because that's something I would never do, right? Yeah. But when you say foot fetish, what are we talking? Foot fetish, like you like? Holy shit, you like? <laughs> To somebody suck, <laughs> no, I can't even say it. They can't suck on my toe. But you like to suck on. I have suck on my wife's toe. On your wife's feet. Yeah. Now, now it's not that I go around. Go, see, here's the thing. Here's another reason why I say this. Just because I'm coming out and I'm saying this, doesn't mean that I'm fantasizing about people's feet outside. Now I may go, oh, those are taken care of, and then we move on. I'm not like. There's not enough alcohol over for me to fucking comprehend this whole thing. <laughs> We so, <clears throat> so let me ask. Let me ask you. Um, Although I did say, Justin, ask questions. Ask all the questions, and, and that's where that's where I'm going. I, I'm curious. It started. I, I'm. I'm. And that's what I was going to ask. Where did this start? It started. With, I kid you not. It started when I was probably I want to say thirteen years old. Oh, so it goes back, huh? Yeah. It goes back. Yeah. What do you know? What triggered it? Do you know what the first time? Because I can tell you the first time that I and I think I've said it on this podcast. The first time where I thought feet are the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact the day I saw it and knew I would never, ever touch another person's foot or let anybody touch my feet. When was it? Have you ever seen Pretty Woman? <clears throat> Uh, I think so, yeah. There's a there's a scene in there when uh, Julia Roberts is laying in that tub. She doesn't have good feet, though, by the way. And she puts her feet on the faucet, and it has a close-up of her... These feet are like, we're talking LeBron James feet. These fucking <laughs> things... Don't look things, at all, he'll puke. Do, do uh, not. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was the trigger. This motherfucker, dude. <clears throat> we've been telling him what to look... Every fucking time you say I don't like feet, you're like, oh, I can yeah, Google this shit top. right here. He already has you it. You, have to me. <laughs> you, remember, you remember when we did the the, the bug thing that we did with uh, uh, K? Yeah, yeah. The cockroach. Yeah, yeah. But that's when I decided there's something maybe not right with me that I don't like feet because I was I was grossed out and I was. <clears throat> I mean, when that movie come out, 
two thousand or ninety, <clears throat> ninety one, sometime probably around there. there yeah. Probably, I was ten, yeah. and I thought, oh no, that's that that does nothing You're for like, me, that. right? So, when did you know? You're like hey, fuck feet. Anyway, <laughs> when did you know? Um, do you remember a certain point? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, which is ridiculous because now I can appreciate like a good, well taken care of foot. But the feet, they kind of made me realize, oh, there's something here. You know, I, I again, I was a 12, 13 year old kid. It was of uh, of uh, an older lady that was not cute at all. <laughs> and now that I and now, is this <clears throat> the is this the fucking maid that cleaned your guys' <laughs> house? <laughs> It cleans someone else's. <laughs> Take your shirt off, puppy. Yeah. <laughs> I have no shoes on. Why don't you pee pee hard? Yeah, it's pee -pee hard. <laughs> I'm just vacuuming with all my shoes on. <laughs> um, but now that I think about it, it's it, funny. I get a boner every time <laughs> I smell Lysol. <laughs> but now that I think about it, um, her feet weren't like. They were like hot? if I, like if I the way I because because what I've gone through my whole life now I think back and I'm like those were one of the most disgusting pair of feet I ever seen in my life and that's what started it and but if, you, if you but you <clears> won't <throat> let anybody suck on your toes I never got it done oh obviously the wife is not like uh, I'm not gonna do that but does she like it. Yeah. Now, oh, she, now, she? now she's become a fan. Oh. Like see like when we have sex, it has to happen. So do you and, and, When and she goes when she goes, you go on top, she knows what she's doing. And, like, okay. and so do you and I think maybe why here's here's my thought why she likes it. It's because you damn, probably, my sister's friends listen to this shit. She's probably <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. She's probably enjoys it because you don't just you know the old saying where you got to warm the motor up before yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah. rev into it? You're probably not the kind of guy that just grabs it. Ah! No. You probably rub those feet, uh, right? Sometimes I go down. For then you... Game. But I do... <clears throat> you Do you tongue in between the toes? <laughs> just say yes or no. <laughs> I mean, if Dude, I told you right, I you suck on right. my wife. <laughs> I mean, if you're eating ass, you're eating ass, right? You got to do it right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can appreciate it, I guess. Thank you, though. He's like, oh, don't touch me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, that being said, <clears throat> I asked Angel. <laughs> that being said, I quit the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, will be, this will be my last episode. <laughs> if you need, uh, if you want to find me, you can say J underscore Sims. Not a fan of feet. 68. <laughs> um, when you brought this up to me in that text, I asked you. <laughs> Can I guess yeah. what it is? And I'll put it on my phone. Yeah. I'll timestamp it so we know it's legit. Yeah. And uh, can I show it on what I thought you were going to say to me when you come out with this? Can I say You're what like, I think it is? Uh, okay, go ahead. Go about, show how it. How about you show it? <clears throat> he says. Okay. Show it to the camera, but not to Angel. Show it to, show it to that, the camera, that, By the way, the that angel. is brilliant. He goes, how, how about I guess and I don't show it to you? And I'm like, yeah, for sure. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, though, because it's, it's, it's in a small note. Put up, put oh, up. I guess yeah. I can see it. Oh, you're going to show them, not me? Can they see it? I don't know. It's not in focus. Do you, do you I went as too far. And I'll... <laughs> Hold on, I need another drink. And by that, I mean Daiko. <clears throat> and I'll confirm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I just said it. It's not like it's a fucking secret now. So, so what do you think it would be? I, for some reason, I thought you would guess it. So. And, 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 and now that you just said, and, oh, I'm sorry. And now that you just said that, I was like, I bet you wrote Pagan. No. Did, well now, now you might did the say. thought cross my mind? It did. But we have talked on the podcast that I'm like, yeah, maybe I might be into pegging or whatever. Yeah. So it's not something that I would be surprised by like this, right? So this is going to be, by the way, the 
biggest call out to see who the fuck listens to the show oh, or not. Because yeah. oh, yeah. if no one else makes fun of this, because yeah. obviously we're, you know Dre is hour, going to. hour and 25 minutes <laughs> in to see how many people listen all the way to the end. Exactly. <clears throat> and I'm not making a clip out of this, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Monday morning, Quinn's going to go, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it's like, I am not listening to those fuckers. Hellbach, he'll do the same. <laughs> um, you know who knows? And, and he's like you, Dan. So Dan knows? Because he, yeah, because here's the thing. My, well, I, I won't say his name. I have another friend. <clears throat> I'll tell you after. That he's the same way as me. And as far as Is I know. Is he in that group of friends? Yeah. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. And as far as I know, um, it is, if you can, if, in fact, let's, let's just, I don't know how much time you got. Let's just look up this. How many percentage of men are interested in feet? Because as far as I know, when it comes to not necessarily a foot fetish, but when it comes to stockings, heels, everything, things related to feet, it's, 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 a, it's a big percentage. Not everybody, like, when it comes to me, I don't talk about it because I don't want people to think, oh, there comes that fucking weird. It's going to be looking at my feet and I'm going to be jacking off, which is not the case. <clears throat> um, approximately 20 to 40% of men. Well, that's a big percentage. Fetishes. That's a big percentage. Uh, Twenty to twenty-five percent of women have foot fetishes. Are you? See, uh, I ne- and I've never seen that. I like. If, okay, in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna call them out, and I'm gonna say this because it's on their podcast, mm-hmm. Beans and Rice podcast. They have this intern chick, that, that works in the back, or I don't know what she does, but she's kind of like a part of the show. And again, I'm not saying anything. It's not out there. She's gay. And on her, one of the episode, sh- episodes, she said, I actually like women's feet. <clears throat> and I have never heard that before. Now, you see porn that do it, but you're like, like porn people that do it. But you're like, well, maybe that's just part of the act. Kind of like, what's, what's, the, what's the plan? What's, what's the agenda today? We're doing anal. I was like, what's, the ad- what's today? I was like, oh, struggling. someone's going to suck on your feet. It's like, okay. <sighs> Right. It's just part of the job. Right. It's not like they enjoy. I mean, obviously they're like, uh, well, but. you fi- you figure if you're you're filling in <clears throat> twenty to forty percent of men, yeah, that's a big percentage of people that may be into that. So they're going to watch that video, right? And do me a favor. We'll continue this. You don't have to put it here. Just look it up. The uh, on the on the uh, on the Facebook of the Salty Sex Cast, they posted something about feet, and it, and it tells you exactly. It describes exactly what the fuck's going on in my brain. But anyway, you were going to say something. Like. So, <clears throat> as I read the message, yeah, and I and I asked you, can I guess? Yeah, I I asked, and, and when you said it, you kind of said it. No, I'm not gay or anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did say that in there. So that kind of played with my mind yeah. on what you were going to say, right? Yeah. So I I looked at it and I thought. Well, I think this, and I typed it in. Yeah. Don't kill me. <clears throat> I asked my wife, read this message, Angel just said. God me. damn it, dude. <laughs> of course, she's, I mean, she I don't know. listen to the guy. podcast. So <laughs> I says, read this message and tell me what you think. Oh, you know she's going to listen to this one. <laughs> and so she reads it, and she looks at me, and she goes, blah, blah, blah. Write exactly what I wrote. Really? Write exactly what I wrote on my phone. And I says, that's what I fucking think. Okay, well, can I guess another one? Yeah. You think thought that maybe I had an experience with the guy. That also went into my mind, but... What's next, bestiality? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <clears throat> yo, yo, them burrows are great. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. They're good. It's, it's not not good. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I... He, here's what I wrote. Okay. And don't take offense to this, because the <clears throat> message you sent me, this is what came to my mind, and I'm okay. just spitballing what I, I don't thought. Know why, I, I don't, first of all, I don't know why I would get offended. I don't know what the fuck you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote, where's women's clothes? Oh, I'm not offended at all. <laughs> I've worn my wife's thong before in the house. But there's people. Yeah, yeah. That like to dress in women's clothes because it's a fetish, Is right? Is it because of my polka dot shoes, dude? <laughs> well, I mean, they don't help, so. <laughs> really? That's, yeah, you know, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't offend me what, like, at all. What did you think I would have said? I don't, for some reason, Pegan, well, for some reason, when you say, can I guess? I'm like, this motherfucker knows. 
Oh really? Yeah. No, I had, that that was the farthest one from my. I I didn't even think about that. I thought of pegging, <clears throat> had sex with a man, or wears women's clothes. Yeah. And I thought, he's you know, the ta- fact he's that ta- your ta- wife did the same thing. <laughs> he we're on the same fucking yeah, wavelength yeah. with you, especially. <laughs> so. Dude, all of a sudden I'm never invited back to watch the fights. <laughs> She's all, when I go, everybody take off your shoes, except for you. <laughs> In fact, nobody take nobody off their take shoes. Off shoes. It's, like, it's like, yo, honey, what, since when you bought, you bought fucking gothic fucking boots? <laughs> <laughs> when did you become an emo? <laughs> that fucking fucking, the, the, the shoelace is right, right at the fucking knee. <laughs> this, is, this is what I wanted, yeah. you know? Cause I, cause obviously I haven't said anything because of you know your your, your point of view on 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 the toesies, but also I wanted to send that message because I didn't want to say, hey, I'm a fan of feet and you're gonna go, oh, we're fucking done, let's get out of here. Nah, and and never, that's what I that's what I would have been like, man, like that was my. I would have never said that. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think you would know me better than that. No, I know, but I just. I don't know. And and then earlier we were talking about feet and rubbing feet. You were like, oh, and I was like, let's just move on. <laughs> That's when you should have let it loose. I was going to, but then we, I saw your reaction. I was like, let's I, just move I, on. And I just said, hold on. For everybody that is not watching, <laughs> I just said, should we get out of here? And you looked at me like, really, motherfucker? Yeah, so <laughs> you sent me the message and I was like, hey, bud, you're not getting we're out not of this going one. anywhere. <laughs> We got grounds to cover. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> this is why I showed up today. <laughs> oh, so there it fuck. is. Yeah. I it's not that a that's not a big deal. But I think I think it's funny because like next time we look up somebody on the on the internet, like a Yo, chick, and can I can I, 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 I can see go, their feet. Yeah, I can go like, yeah, good feet. I can say that she's got nasty feet. So uh, we we're talking me, about Angelina Jolie with the dreads. She has nasty feet. Let me ask you this: for, for a connoisseur like are me, you, are you a member of Cat's fucking uh, no. OnlyFans? No, that surprises me. That surprises me. <laughs> <laughs> that would put me over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he, he he wants to play like he's not a creep, but this motherfucker's got yeah. problems. <laughs> I go, I go back home and I got like Barbie feet hanging on the fucking wall. You know that that sex fucking uh, doll that uh, little Dicky has. Oh the God. feet are all fucking dirty. I don't need anything else. <laughs> I don't, don't worry about that. I don't even fuck it. I just watch TV and suck on the plastic. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm giving my phone. Oh. Pull it out just to eat a chip. <laughs> I, put it back. I put the chip in between the toes. <laughs> oh, oh my god, shit. I'm fucking sweating. How, how can you not make a clip of this? <laughs> I've never laughed so hard on this fucking podcast. <laughs> Are you fucking oh, sweating, shit. Dude. If anybody wants to know why I look so red, it's not because I have diabetes or whatever your buddy said. It's because it's hot as fuck in here. It's hot as fuck and also laughing our asses off. Oh. So there it is. Once again, Angel comes clean. <laughs> 136 episodes. <clears throat> yeah. Here we are. So DM me your feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You know, how, like some 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 of these girls on, on OnlyFans, they they rate your dick. You take take a picture of your rate dick. my feet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, should we get out of here? Yo, do you ever? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? What? Do you ever have her beat you off with her feet? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. How about between the toe, the big toe, and the other one? No, no. Here's the thing, <laughs> and I want to call her out because she knows. Even though I would like to get that done, she's not that skill. And to me, if I have she to do have- it, if I have to do it, it's like, uh, it's not the same. Angel goes to the zoo and sees the orang- orangutans. He's all, hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I start touching myself. Yeah, yeah. Can climb on the- <laughs> I start I touching myself when I play with a banana. <laughs> <laughs> and I, just, I try to give it to him. I try to give it to him. I only want the feet to touch it. <laughs> 
He's like, no. <laughs> and I put it down. She grabs it. No. <laughs> I promise I'm not making fun of you. Dude, Mike, oh, I don't shit. care. My God, I'm sweating oh, so bad, dude. Shit. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. Be new. Yes. Okay. So now you now have our now, uh, you, 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 You're crying. Dude. I'm so My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Dude. Now. <sighs> You do realize, well, I, now that I think about it, this doesn't mean anything. I'm like, do you realize that you're like, you became like an even bigger homie for me? But I just fucking said it <laughs> yeah, on national that. television. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now can we get out of here? Yeah, we can get out of here. <laughs> uh, everything at DJ Bab O'Brien. Check out his tour. Where yeah. are you going to be? Bad Boy Brian, Pins and L's, uh, Saturday nights. Uh, check me out on Facebook uh, for what location I'm at. I'm playing at all of them <clears> at some <throat> point. So uh, check me out. You can catch me looking at your feet at <laughs> Facebook <laughs> at Angel Severa. On Instagram on Angel Severa. And I do this thing with my buddy Dre. <clears throat> who he's going to find out about this. Uh, he wore, yo, he wore slippers the other day. I'm like, if you, like in my, in my head, I'm like, if you weren't wearing, if you weren't wearing socks, we would I have a problem? Because here's the thing, guy's feet, I'm like, I draw the line. I look at him and I go, good job. Or I look at him and I go, you're disgusting. Although today we got our fucking feet done and Becca's like, I didn't think you have okay feet for a guy. I'm like, I've been told that before. <clears throat> But anyway, I do this thing with my buddy Dre when I try to teach him to speak Spanish. Uh, it's called No Hablo de Español. You can find that on YouTube at allrock.com. And on the YouTube, uh, on the U92. Uh, oh, sorry, I just lost it. Please. Website. Sorry. Gotcha. I'm going to burp you. U92 online. Right? Something like that. Couple footnotes for the colony. Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, J underscore Sim sixty eight on the Instagram. Uh, find me on Facebook and wherever the podcast is bumping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to stop saying catch the podcast on all the platform. I think when you say when you start a podcast, unless you're Joe Rogan and you're fucking only Exclusive. Spotify, yeah. You can find we're not, so we're good. You can find us everywhere. And if you can't find us anywhere, let us know and we'll try to penetrate that that site. Anyway. All right, don't put your foot in your mouth, you're fine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here one foot at a time. Anyway, until next time, take care of yourselves out there. And we will see you on the other side of the beehive. <laughs> You're like, you're like, feed, yeah, feed. I was gonna do it. You fucked me. You fucked me, bud.